She's back! Hello everyone! So today I'm here to give you the guide that you never thought that you needed, the thing that you never thought in life would give you just the knowledge and power to take on the world and that my friends is how to charity shop for dummies! By no means am I calling you all dummies, I don't think you're dummies you're probably amazing people. It's just the popular title of the series of books that you probably all know and I don't want them coming for me and copywriting me. I just wanted to use the name because it's got a good ring to it to be honest. When it comes to charity shopping, I like to think that I am the more like intelligent superior of the charity shop boppers in the world. I don't know. I think I'm quite good at it. People like to tell me I am. Who knows? But for all of you charity shop novices out there, this video is going to change your life. So here is how to charity shop bop for dummies. Woo! Tip number one is go in with an open mind. Have no expectations. I am a big believer in the art of manifestation. So if it's positive people around you, positive things are gonna happen. Surround yourself with negative vibes, then negative things are gonna happen. And the same applies to charity shopping. Just go in, open mind, and just look for whatever inspires you. Because a lot of the time, people go in thinking, I want to find new season Zara, new season Topshop. You're probably not going to do that, okay? But you might find something completely different that nobody else is going to have. And that is the beauty. That is the beauty in charity shopping. Number two, don't be a charity shop snob, okay? Give everywhere a chance. A lot of people like to go to the more upmarket places. They know that certain brands you might find there, more upmarket pieces, more expensive pieces. But coming from the girl who lives in one of the worst rated towns in England and who spends a lot of her time charity shopping in those shops, I would say that my better finds have been found in that town and not in the more upmarket classier areas that I've been to. When I say give everywhere a chance, honestly try everywhere, see where you find the best stuff for you. I would recommend going to smaller towns because I just think it's better. You find more stuff, I find more stuff. So tip number three is look for potential in everything. Go in there and don't just go straight to one section, look at every section. You just gotta keep digging, it is like an absolute mine in there, like a gold mine. You can keep digging and eventually you will come across a little diamond hidden, hidden amongst all the clothes and that will make your absolute day. Well, it would make my day. So yeah, look for, look at everything. Just look at absolutely everything. Number four, my little stubby fingers, I don't like them. I need to get my nails done. Do not take into consideration size. Look at every single size because I am a UK size 12 and when I look in charity shops, I can range from a size 8 to a size 18. It just depends on the fit, the style, what you're looking for. This oversized blue YSL shirt that I got last week is like a triple XL. That's not my size. I'm definitely not a triple XL. I know that. But I can wear it as a dress. I can wear it as an oversized shirt tucked into some jeans. I could wear it as a cover-up for a bikini. I could tie it, put it off the shoulder. There are so many different things I can do with it because it is oversized. And don't be put off by something that you might think is too big or too small. Just, just give it a chance, you know. Give it a chance. Number five is don't take into consideration gender or age or anything like that. Again, kind of similar to size, but look in the men's section, look in the kids' section. And you do find some really cool stuff, like kids' accessories is my favourite. I have this really cool white fluffy hat. It's from Disney World. It's so cool. And obviously, men's section, I know it is like a big cliche, like, oh, men's t-shirts, oversized baggy t-shirts. But I love mine. Like, my favourite t-shirts I have found in the men's section, in charity shops, like my Elvis one, that is iconic. Why MCA one, Disney World one, so many t-shirts that are just iconic that I will keep forever I have found in the men's section in charity shop. Number six is let yourself be drawn to patterns and colours over styles. Like for me I am such a pattern person and colour person, I am not the black and white gal, I am not the minimalistic gal, I am the extrovert, massive patterns everywhere, that is me. So I am drawn to a lot of patterns and colours in charity shops because that just screams potential to me. I always think just look for things that like just pull you in because the art with charity shopping is everything is different in that shop. You're probably not gonna find that piece in a shop again 
and if you're just drawn to the colour or the pattern, I just think it's so special. I'm like, just get it. This top, the style of it isn't exactly something that I would wear a lot, but this like 70s pattern, this baby pink, like I love it. And like, I probably wouldn't have bought this style of shirt in a different pattern, but because it is in this pattern, I was just drawn to it. For all you animal print lovers out there, like myself, you're gonna find some amazing things in charity shops. Like, animal print is just one thing I would guarantee you could walk into any charity shop and find something. Number seven is try things on, tech everything to the fitting rooms and try it on. Your figure is how the clothes hang. On a hanger, they're not going in at the waist, they're not like going out at the booty, you know. If you put it on and style it up right, it could look like a completely different item. Like, I always make sure I'm wearing a belt when I go charity shopping because it is such a good way to kind of style things and make things seem more fitted and, you know, just try things on. Just go completely like wild child vibes when they're in that charity shop and just try everything on. Number eight is adjustments are key. Now, we don't all have to have a degree in fashion design to be able to crop a t-shirt, crop a pair of jeans, sew a hem up. Like, it's not that hard. Once you get doing it, it is pretty easy. It's like creating my own clothes, but I don't actually have to make the clothes because that I don't think I would be very good at. I'd love to be able to, but customising, DIYing, is just the best thing. And because the prices are so low at charity shops, you're not losing an extortionate amount of money if things don't go right but positive vibes positive mindset and it'll all go right number nine is something that i don't think a lot of people realize but remember that you can return items yeah keep your receipt and you can take most charity shops you can take things back like i know the chain charity shops like cancer research oxfam british heart foundation you can take things back to those and it's not a problem i would say ask before <laughs> obviously i'm not i'm not saying every charity shop in the country does and my final tip for how to cherry shop for dummies number 10 in the wise words of mr barlow have a little patience my friends have a little patience you might have just had an unlucky day where there just wasn't anything for you and it's unfortunate i know i, f I feel your pain but don't give up be patient and a few weeks time try again and you might find something incredible so everyone, now you're not a charity shop novice anymore, you are a charity shop king or queen, you have got the skills and the knowledge and the power to be able to go and defeat those charity shops, find the best finds, get the best buys. People say, where did you get that from? You'll say, I got it from a charity shop. That is the best feeling ever. So yeah, they're my 10 tips. And now if you complain and say you can't find anything in a charity shop, then I'm not going to believe you because I think I've equipped you with the right, the right knowledge that you need to succeed in both life and with charity shopping. So I hope you enjoyed. That was me just rambling on again. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>